Hey guys, it's the Med Studio and today we'll be looking at the difference between rheumatoid arthritis versus osteoarthritis. So both are common pathologies with very similar properties, however it's very important to understand how to differentiate between the two as the management can vary. Let's start off with rheumatoid arthritis. This is an autoimmune condition that causes chronic inflammation of a joint and its components. So this includes the tendon sheets, bursa, etc. Since this is an autoimmune condition, it usually presents as a symmetrical distal polyarthropathy. This means that rheumatoid arthritis typically affects both sides, several joints that are furthest away from the centre of the body. Specifically, this includes the smaller joints like the hands, for example, the metacarpophalangeal joints and the proximal interphalangeal joints. Sometimes it can also affect the larger joints like the shoulders and the elbows. A good exam tip to remember is that patients will describe as having morning stiffness lasting more than an hour. With rheumatoid arthritis, there are also systemic symptoms like muscle aches, weakness, fatigue, etc. On the hands, there are many different types of presentations. For example, the patient could have ulnar deviation and swan neck deformity. As we said earlier, rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune condition, so it's important to investigate for antibodies. Specifically for rheumatoid arthritis, we use rheumatoid factor and anti-CCP antibodies that are checked. Inflammatory markers such as CRP and ESR will also be raised. Imaging techniques like x-rays of the hands and the feet and ultrasound of the joint space can also be used. This is because due to the inflammation or otherwise known as synovitis, it can also cause increased fluid. So now let's have a look at osteoarthritis. This is a common condition that occurs in adults as they age. Despite sounding similar to rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis is not an inflammatory condition. Risk factors include obesity, age, trauma, occupation. Similar to rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis can also present with joint pain and stiffness. A good exam technique to remember is that for rheumatoid arthritis, it's worse after rest and the symptoms can improve with activity. Whereas for a mechanical pathology like osteoarthritis, it's not an inflammatory pathology, so it's worse with activity and improves with rest. The joints that are affected are also slightly different to rheumatoid arthritis. Patients will have pathology in their hands, knees and hip joint. In particular, with the hands you can see Hebbidens and Bouchard's nodes. Here we have a normal hand and if we compare it to the osteoarthritis affected hands, we can see a difference as there are swellings present on the fingers. I remember the Hebbidens nodes are higher and Bouchard's nodes are below. Unlike rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis does not require any specific tests if the patient is over the age of 45. We can also use x-rays in conjunction with this. In terms of the x-rays, we can use the mnemonic LOSS in order to identify whether a patient has osteoarthritis. This includes loss of joint space, osteophytes, subchondral sclerosis and subchondral cysts. So now for a quick summary between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Firstly, in terms of presentation, osteoarthritis is a non-inflammatory disease. Therefore, it causes joint pain and stiffness that's worse after activity. Whereas rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune inflammatory condition causing symmetrical arthropathy that's worse with rest and better with exercise. For both conditions, we use x-ray imaging to have a look at the joints. However, for rheumatoid arthritis, we also have a look at the antibodies. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys found it really useful. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment below. 
and follow me on Instagram at the Med Studio.